Now, I want to let us know, as we've stated a few Sundays back, and we've been saying it every Sunday, that the way that we operate here at Praise Tabernacle, the old way is dead. In other words, whatever he want to do and however he want to do it, that's what we allow God to do, and we done, we go home. That's it. So let me say this. God is most definitely in the room. And there are some of us that we need something from God. You need God to change something. You need God to do something, unless you would not be here. So here it is. What I need us to know is that how this thing works, because we are in a place called an open heaven. Prophet, what does that mean? In other words, we are in a place right now where God has his ear attentively to our mouths. We are in a very, very uh, uh, specific moment and a very strategic moment right now where God has opened up heaven for a set time to, for us to set up our praise and our worship and our request before God. So here it is. What am I saying? I'm not saying that any other moment God can't do it. But there's something about a set time. Let me give this to you. When they went to the upper room, and when our Lord and Savior died, the Bible lets us know that he was on this earth for 40 days. But there, were, there was a period of time after his being here where he instructed the disciples, I need you to go to the upper room. Now hear me very well because I'm about to let loose for, for about another minute and a half and I'm going to move forward. Now, even though I may move forward, you can stay right where you are. Whatever God is doing at the time, you stay right there. We're not going to move you. But I do want to release scripture so that when we respond, we can put God at his word. The Bible lets us know that they were told, go in the upper room and go wait on the Holy Ghost. The reason being is because uh, Jesus was getting ready to leave. But he said, before I leave, I need my spirit to be in you. And this is what the Father is going to give you. I'm about to leave. But I need you to go and I need you to get on your face before God and wait. That word Terry don't necessarily mean to pray, but it means to wait. But while we are waiting, while we are waiting for God to fulfill the promise, while we're waiting for God, because I feel that deliverance, breakthrough, everything about to break loose in here, all that one go. Because all we need, and let me explain something. When it comes down to lyrics, when it comes down to breakthrough, when it comes down to spells being broken, all we need, the simple tool is an unction of the Holy Ghost. Anytime you need something from God, all you simply need, the power, the power that makes that thing happen is the Holy Ghost. What I need us to do is I need us, now if you don't need nothing, that's on you. But if you need something, I need you to get unswaggified, get uncutified, whatever the case may be, open up your mouth, and I need you to open up your mouth and make some noise in here to provoke heaven to respond. You got 30 seconds to go. Thank you. 
differently. I told us some Sundays ago, the last time I had an opportunity to preach, cycles are only broken when you break repetition. I said, cycles, they can only be broken when you decide to break repetition. What do you mean, responding to the cycle the same way? You got to get on your mind. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to be free. If I got to look crazy, guess what? I'm going to look crazy, but when I'm free, I'm going to go back to normal. Just like, just like Superman, just like Clark Kent, you got to get in that telephone.
y'all do me a favor? Here's what I heard in the Holy Ghost. I know it sounds crazy, but if you don't mind, just a moment. Sister Amy, can you take your glasses off? Here's what the Holy Ghost just said. What he's doing is, because I saw it through your shades. Now, there's nothing wrong with the shades, but the shades help me see what I needed to see in the spirit. I need you to touch our eyes, because she's about to start seeing in the spirit like never before. Open up your mouth, Jesus, and shout. There it is. Right! 
you all talking to her, don't think you can't get that either. But I just felt led to say that to her. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Certain cycles that have been in your life is about to break. But your response got to be in prayer. Your response got to be in your mouth. That you got to come against that thing in the spirit.
pray in place for Sister Janine. I need, uh, Sister Janine, I need your hands lifted. God is about to give you strength. I just heard that thing clear as day, strength. But yet, here's what I need you to do. You're about to get that thing at the altar. I hear God, I hear God. Real top time. They can't take their head keep going out here. Anybody else need to come in off the call? Come on. Now, if you good where you at, you good. I ain't, I ain't trying to bother nobody. But even in the Old Testament, the altars were a sacrifice where dead things were laid at. So whatever you need to die in your life, put it at the altar. Oh, Shatai. They came to the day of the hill. Oh, Ramadamaya. Oh, Ramadamaya. Me, you get a little closer to the altar. So that hope the Holy Ghost might overtake you. I need to get closer to you. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 hey, hey
the Father wants you to leave here with something. Oh, my, 
in your hands, we should have some form of word in our hands. For man shall not live by bread alone. Help each other out. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Let's be accountable, brothers and sisters in Christ. If you don't have a Bible, if you don't have the Bible on your app, let's get the Bible. Amen. We must know what we purpose in our heart and while we walk through that door. It should not be out of obligation, but relationship with God. Amen. And if it is out of obligation, because you're obedient, thank God for your obedience. But while you're here, let's give you something to take back with you. Because understand that the enemy is not coming for the pulpit. He's coming for the pews, too. Philippians 3 and 12. something was going to shift. Amen. Amen. So let me say this, that you know, when I say and do some things, it's going to seem weird and I don't mean to offend nobody. But when it comes to the things of God, I don't apologize. And I take it serious. I'm very bold when it comes to the things of God. Oh, yeah. I demand respect Amen. when it comes to the things of God. I don't really care what you think about me, but what we're not going to do Amen. is disrespect God's word Amen. and his house. Amen. Amen. So I want to say this in love, that the enemy's job is to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said that I come that you might have life, and that more abundantly, and I will live on purpose. And it has to be a choice with you. I give a disclaimer from this day forward, whether you decide to come back to this ministry or not. I want to say this in love. That we're going to set order. Yeah. And we're going to do things like the Bible says do. Amen. Because the media are doing another thing. Amen. And Mother Marjorie, it ain't in the Bible. Jesus. But I say for this house, it's the enemy. We're going to serve the Lord. We're going to do what God's word say do. And if that offends you, then may the Lord watch between me and thee. I'm okay with that. Because, Jeremy, the warfare that's coming, it ain't nothing to play with. It. The devil will come right here in the church and take you out the church. He'll come here while you while you speaking in tongues. He'll come and snatch your whole mind, your identity. See, the old school church that I came up in, we will be playing with God. And at an early age, I want to tell you how serious I am. Amen. I watched a young lady in Virginia get on the drums and fall dead on the drums. All right, Jesus. All right, Jesus. All right. I've seen people come to the altar, come in God's house any kind of way, and collapse right where they stood. Yes. Yes. Can I be real about it? was one of those that had an issue with something. I don't even know what I was mad about, but I approached the instruments and I wasn't worthy. I had stuff in my heart I hadn't dealt with, and I collapsed right there at the door in Bath, South Carolina, before God had witnesses. And so before I am accountable, I will preach the word even if it offends you. Even if it offends me. Even if everybody leave and don't come back. The blood mother will not be on my hands. Jesus. 
So our topic today is press. With everything in you, you better decide. You better pick a side and pick quick. Either you want God or you want the things of the world. But you better pick a side real quick because the world will make you pick a side. Life is going to make you pick a side. We can say it with our lips, but our actions are going to speak. Amen. Now I'm going to say, everybody got a Bible? We ready to go? Amen. If you don't have a Bible, raise your hand. Let's get you one. Because we ain't going to, we, we, I love everybody. I'm just going to say that. Amen. And those that came, what have you, I know the situation, no problem. It would. Amen. Philippians 3 and 12. I'm going to read out of King James. Thank you, Sister Janine. As an intercessor, walk the floor. Take the room. Amen. Because we're on the wall. This is a hospital. Everything in here needs to be breathing. And I mean spiritually breathing. Thank you. The same order we set in the house of God is the same order you need to set in your houses. In the house. Everything that ain't like God better come under correction. Because the Bible says that judgment begins at the house of God. And as we preach this word, you are now accountable. And your blood will not be on my hand. If you don't make it in, it won't be my fault. But I'm telling you, you don't have to leave the way you came. Amen. Anytime a, a friend of ours said, sing a song, Pastor Brooks, anytime you get ready, Jesus will set you free. Amen. You got to believe. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, whatever you need from God, it's a belief away from you getting it. You are a belief away from being healed. You are a belief away from being set free. You are a belief away. Philippians 3.12 says, Not as though I had already attained it. Either we're already perfect, but I follow after. If that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. And y'all know me, you know I'm going to amplify because I don't want nothing going over our heads. Amen? Here's God's word, Philippians 3 and 12. It's not that I've already reached the goal. So I want you to understand something. Those that have followed me in the translation, you're going to see me in the God's word translation. Josiah, I ain't here preaching because I've already got the goal. I'm not here ministering because I'm perfect. But I'm here because I'm pressing. Yeah. You're not here because you reach it. I don't care what title we got. Ain't none of us perfect. We all dealing with something. We all are going through something. At every level. If there is no challenge, let me tell you something. There's a little game I like to play on my phone. And I will delete the game if it's not a challenge to me. Because it's too easy. It's beneath me. It's not a challenge. So every time you go higher in God, this is why warfare come. Come on. Amen. Don't count it strange. Jesus. When you going up in the place of God, there's going to be new devils. Yes, yes. There's going to be new levels unlocked. Yes. There's going to be things that you didn't have to use the tools in this area that you got to use them in this area. Bring it, bring it. You're going to have to pray. Bring it, bring it. You're going to have to fast. Bring it. And you're going to have to do it on a different level. Sometimes the enemy going to be right there at your table. Sometimes the enemy going to be right in your thoughts. Sometimes the enemy going to be on your job. Sometimes you're going to be married to the enemy. You got to have a spirit of press. I got a goal to reach. And I ain't taking no prisoners. I love wrestling. And there's one of my favorite wrestlers. He said, y'all remember when I was comical and this and this and that. He said, my hunger has changed. My God, my God. He said, I ain't about them games and all that now. I need to get this title. So that means if you if you're an enemy of mine, get in my way and watch what happens. We better be bold in the spirit and tell the enemy. Christ called me this 
bitch. She called me and said, you sharing this and you sharing that. That was that to edify somebody? Or was you trying to hit someone? God be the glory. Pastor Michelle, God be the, glory. the person that even friends me, but it made me feel good, Sanaya, to share it. Y'all know how we still post on social media and we're like, I'm going to share this because I want Pookie to see this. Maybe they'll get delivered. That ain't your job. Yeah. And when she told me, I said, I repent. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah, that was me. Oh, God. Thank you, I, hope, I hope that they will see it so they can catch it. Oh, Perhaps they will get free. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But if we're doing things and the motives ain't pure, and if our motives are not to save them, but it's a throw off. Yes. Then it's feeding our flesh. And we wonder why we quit the cuss somebody out. What are you eating? Jesus. All right. All right now. It's quiet, but it's okay. It's Look out, it's out. It's out. Because if it don't say it, the word ain't helping you, it's helping me. We got to take a self check. What we eating in the spirit? What you watching? What you listening to? Who we talking to? I don't know what happened. I just started snapping on people. You ain't just started snapping on people. Choice back. What you was listening to? What you was watching? What conversation were you having? Am I right about it, my brother? Sometimes you can be having a good day and go around somebody and your whole Above the knowledge of God. On Wednesday night, we talked about cheaters. Yes, Lord. I'm walking back into cheaters. And when I say cheating, I don't mean boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Nah, nah, boo, it's deeper than that. We cheating on God. All right. I got to keep talking about that. We cheating on God. How you cheating on God? Because we use other gods. The God of attitude, the God of lust, the God of my way. The God of this who I am and they come right up tell me what to do. Yeah, that's a God too. The God of this right now, you can't tell me what to do. Whatever that thing is that we're putting over God, you have made it a God. And we're cheating on our Father, God in heaven, by leaning on these other things. I'm going back to that because it's familiar. I'm, I'm, I'm be, instead of me repenting and saying I'm sorry, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you a gift. Because <laughs> it's going to make me feel better. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share this post on Facebook. Because it's going to make me feel better. There was this skin tag, and it's still there until I take it off. But there's a skin tag that's on me, right? And before I ordered the little packet, it's a skin tag, and I don't know if you ever had one. It's just like a little dot, a little dangling dot. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the most aggravating things, especially if you get in the wrong place. Like, ladies, right there under your bra strap. It's just, I be like, and that thing mess around and get infected. Like, every turn you do, it hurt. So it's just like a skin tag or a bump or something. And so I begin to look at do it yourself ways of how to kill this thing before my product came. Because I couldn't afford it $20 at the time to get it. Praise God. I got it when I could afford it. Praise the Lord. But I was looking at the do it yourself on TikTok. Now, how am I going to kill this thing? Because it's aggravating me. Sometimes, sometimes, revelation, thank you, God. Some situations, it's not the devil. It's because God wants to aggravate you into praying. I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to turn my back and I'm just going to talk to me. Sometimes it's not the devil. It's God running you into his hand. So he allowing the heat to be turned up. So I looked up his skin tag and I said, well, how do we kill this thing? Because it's aggravated me. You'd be surprised what research you do. You say, I can't read. I can't sit still long enough. five minutes. Let something really get on your nerves. Baby, you gonna be on Google, Tulu, TikTok, my talk, they talk, Pinterest. How can I give it this thing? It's getting on my nerve. I, I got to, I, I'm in every prayer line because it's getting on my nerve. Get desperate enough. Right. 
Makeup may be a hot mess. Mother, I may have to limp sometimes because I've been in a real fight. Amen. But when you, you see me coming, got I got him on my hey, mind. Hey, hey. Got him on my I ain't in this fight for applause, but I'm in this fight for the margin to win. Went through the Jen, I done been through some stuff. And some of the stuff was my fault. But Amy, I'm coming out. But I ain't finna beg you. Because what will happen is I can't run the race, but you must wait. Thank you. Coming out. Sometimes we got to drop some stuff. And, and, and can I say this? I'm closing. I'm closing. Coming I ain't done. Coming out. It ain't that, Miss Marcia, we ain't got power. Coming it ain't out. that we can fight. Some of us, we really got some resumes. But it ain't worth it for me to stop and fight with you because it's a distraction. So I could win it if I wanted to. But if I fight you in the natural, it's going to cost me in the spirit. If you know your side, you shooting that ball, or you doing that basketball, or you doing that soccer, and somebody keep running their mouth, you got to really not even hear them. Because what will happen is, if the enemy get in your head, then he'll mess up your game. All year long, you've been making that shot in your sleep. All of a sudden, people running their mouth and people booing in the crowds and all kind of other stuff, and you missing small shots. Can I say in the spirit, this is what Jesus said. You should have missed that one. All right. That was a small thing. Why you let who who have you with you? Who told you you was weak? Who told you you couldn't make it? Jesus being the coach that he is, come on, get back in the race. You got this. I don't care what the enemy said. I don't care what mistake you made. Get them out of your head and let's press. Let's get back on this court. Let's get back in this fight. Verse 14, out of God's word translation, I run straight toward the goal to win the prize that God's heavenly call offers in Christ Jesus. We're running straight. Forgetting those things that are behind, I press towards the mark. Let it go. People are saying, oh, this is going on, oh, this is a fire, oh, this is. I ain't got time. Because I'm fixed as a fighter. I keep letting this stretch. You ever seen a fight? MMA fight, whatever fight, and that person seems like that person's eyes are in a zone. It's like they're in a whole different world. This is how we got to get about our salvation. People are literally saying, this is going on, that's going on. Our eyes are so fixed on the goal, which is the heavenly places. I got to make it to heaven. Amen. I got to come out of this. I got to get free in Jesus' name. I'm sorry, I don't mean no disrespect, but I can't come off the wall. To deal with foolishness. I'm sorry that your feelings are hurt. I'm sorry I can't return your call because I ain't got time. No disrespect, but there's people that have called me this week and I ain't called them back yet. Why? Because I feel foolishness. You got to be okay to do that. Everybody don't deserve your response. Your spirit will tell you this ain't nothing but foolishness. And I ain't got time. You got to press by any means necessary. If you don't want to get hit, don't get in my way. And I don't mean naturally. I ain't trying to knock nobody out, you know. I'm talking spiritually. Don't get in my way. Don't play no games. Amen. Not in this season. God is coming back. The signs are lining up. And the warfare is greater than ever before. So right now, 
It's a time to search yourself. Check me. And my last point, just a nugget. I'm done with the message. Just a nugget. I think about Jonah that was swallowed by the whale. Well, big fish, whatnot. He was swallowed by some of the water. Whatever the Bible says it is, amen. But I think about Jonah. And you know, Jonah's disobedience, not only it cost him, but it cost everybody that was on the boat with him. They all lost their stuff. I didn't think about that. Sometimes we go through certain things in life, it makes us think differently. And we see scripture with another light. And see, here's the thing. This is why we got to check ourselves. Because not our sin not only affects us, but it affects those that we are connected to. Yeah. And so Jonah's disobedience and getting on that boat to go to Tarsha instead of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. Everybody around him had to throw their stuff overboard. To lighten up the ship. Because of one man's sin. It was easy to be obedient. This is why we can't follow everybody. I don't care if a hundred thousand million people is following that one person, baby. If you don't see the hand of God on them, don't follow them. Amen. Be that one that say, I'm not following the crowd. My spirit don't sit right, not doing it. My grand to foolishness. Amen. Because it affected him and everybody. Aiken. The one that sinned and took the curse thing and hid it beyond his stuff. Think nobody was going to hear about it. Nobody was going to say nothing. All these people died when they went to war because of one man sinning. And so I say to you, don't be the reason that your family get in trouble. Don't be the reason. But if God is showing you yourself, Please, I beg you, get free. Thank you. Cry out to God. God, deliver me, save me. Everything he shows you, because deliverance ain't done until we leave here. There's going to be something we need to be set free from. Amen. Because he's getting his bride ready. We, the church, are his bride. Amen. To God be the glory. For all the things that he has done. We give your name glory to God. We thank you for giving us a word today. Thank you for grace and your joy.
that same condition I came here in.